Manipur Police Department in virtual presence of Union Minister, Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Chief Minister Nongthuma Birin incinerates 1,729 kg, 662 grams of seized narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances at London. Manipur observed Loktak Day. Forest and Environment Climate Change Minister Tongam Biswajit says saving the Loktak Lake is BJP government's top priority. Lockers and Hospital Management Committee demand state government to send required nurses of Wangu Community Health Centre within seven days. Central Equipment Identity Registry Project of Department of Telecommunications extended to six northeast states including Manipur. Mobile consumers can now directly report lost mobile handset blocking online. And Tongbra Manorama Bags Gold Medal in Cycling Event of Ongoing 36th National Games Gujarat 2022. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. I'm Joyce Rusham. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your mask properly and maintain a safe distance. Now the news in details. Manipur Police Department, Government of Manipur, in the virtual presence of Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Chief Minister Nongthom Mambirain, incinerated 1,729 kg, 662 grams of seized narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances today. The drugs disposal program was held on the theme, Say Yes to Life, No to Drugs, as a part of the regional meeting on drug trafficking in national security chaired by Union Home Minister Amit Shah at Guwahati in Assam today. 1,704 kgs of ganja, 595 grams of spasmoproxivon, 129 grams of N10 tablets, 18 kgs, 619 grams of WY, MV, amphetamine tablets and 6 kg, 319 grams of heroin powder were set ablaze at Shiza Common Biomedical Waste Treatment Facility at Lamdeng in Imphal West District. Speaking on the sidelines, Manipur Police IGP Zone 1 tempting Asang said that the drugs were seized by Manipur Police during anti-drugs drives as part of the government's war on drugs mission. He said that all the necessary formalities were carried out before the disposal of the drugs. We followed all the judicial proceedings followed the court ki due approval ya uraga concern authority ki approval to uraga ngashi to mine destroy to bani case ayamba ekoi yam pending chule which ekoi court ki approval lo uraga disposed to ngai to bisi from time to time ekoi tum to bani there are a lot of cases which are pending also ngashi ki shite yaute that court ki proceeding chathare shi ki shi ekoi appeal chape ki to ki proceeding de ki pending le the total Quantity she heroin powder she 6.319 kgs high which itself is a huge amount and amphetamine she equivalent W Y W Y she it's 18.619 kgs so this major drug issue high value drugs the initiative oil. Twenty Assam rifles has seized brown sugar and W Y tablets from two separate locations. Twenty Assam rifles troopers arrested a man in possession of 290 grams of brown sugar worth around 28 lakh rupees in the international market from Kuding Tabi check post on Imphal Mori Road last afternoon. The arrested person is 25-year-old Ngamkosai Baite, son of Lungko Ngam Baite from Churachandpur district. The Assam Rifles team also recovered an echo van with registration number MN0LB5214. 20 Assam Rifles along with personnel of 165 Territorial Army also seized 4 kg 127 grams of brown sugar and 2 packets of WI tablets weighing around 2 kg and 133 grams from 2 individuals in a location near the Pineapple Farm on Imphal Moray Road last morning. The arrested persons are 28-year-old S. Konmin Len Mati, son of L.S. Jamthang Mati, and 28-year-old Mangin Lal, son of C.H. Thongkolet. Both are residents of 
Technopol village. The combined team also recovered one Honda Activa and the FZ bike the arrested uh, came driving. The arrested persons have been handed over to Moray police station for further legal action. Forest and Environment Climate Change Minister Tongam Biswajit says it is the priority of the BJP government to preserve the Loktak Lake for the sake of generations to come. Minister Biswajit was speaking today at the one-day workshop on conservation and wise use of Loktak and associated lakes at Ningtokong Mangolganbi College organized by Loktak Development Authority. Addressing the event, Minister Biswajit expressed happiness over the sighting of the state bird Nongin in Ukrul district. He stated that the government has initiated various programs to protect and preserve different rare and endangered flora and fauna of the state, including the Nongin bird. Speaking at the event, LDA Chairman Moirang Tem Ashni Kumar expressed concerns that the Loktak Lake is, is losing its vastness and size day by day. He appeals to all who are residing in the vicinity of the lake to refrain from land encroachment. LDA Project Director Ning Thao Kong Mangolganbi College Principal, Kumbi College Principal along with teachers and students of different colleges attended the workshop. <laughs> Forest Minister Tongam Biswajit stressed that Forest Department alone cannot preserve and protect wildlife and that it requires collective effort. Minister Biswajit also expressed concern over the disappearance of wild birds and animals which were once found in the state but could not be but could be seen only at the zoo these days. He was speaking at the closing event of the 67th Wildlife Week celebration today at Manipur Zoological Garden in Iroishamba, Imphal. The minister called upon the masses to strive for increasing the number of wildlife population in the state, also stating that it is high time that people figure out the root causes of global climate change and start combating it. He termed the killing of wild animals and birds for consumption as unfortunate. Minister Biswajit stressed that present generation must act for the welfare of the future generations. He also lamented over the current bad shape of the zoo and called for restoring the zoological garden. Prizes were distributed to winners of various competitions held during the Wildlife Week celebration since October 2nd at the program today. A book written by Dr. Kangemba Samungo titled The Fair Lady to Animal Garden was also released on the occasion. Wildlife <laughs> Hospital Management Committee of Wangu Community Health Center and local women folk demanded state government to send the required nurses of the CHC within seven days. CHC Wangu is at present facing inconveniences in functioning round the clock due to manpower shortage. Speaking to media, Management Committee member Taudam Dhamen said that the health department had recently transferred three nurses of the CHC despite the shortage. He said that the CHC has only two nurses at present. Dhamen warned that the locals are all set to launch stir if the required number of nurses were not sent within seven days.
Doctor later than Naras Yawder, Kaidoruni. Doctor Di Masagi, duty Tauzeva, Naras, Hibisman, and Naraski Matau. Naraski Matauzi, Taudova, Maram, Nerekanda, twenty four vice habits at Tauvasungam, Namoido, Pibam de la Air. Healthy sector, Sukimatic, Awab, Laidose, Massimari, Lenub di Pamena, Amadi Authority, and Kang Biraga, Habirak Targadi, I could lay Riva, the Kaisigamadi, Management Committee, Kusam Nor, and Kuho Sanse, who is it a center when Pong Lun Sinjagan had an equi, press media get Honda, Equi, Mangjong and Paul Pizzeri. Central Equipment Identity Registry CEIR, initiated by the Department of Telecommunications DOT India, will start functioning in northeast states of India. DOT had implemented CEIR with an aim to curtail counterfeit mobile phone market and curb mobile phone theft, protect consumer interests and facilitate law enforcement authorities. CEIR is linked to international mobile Equipment number IMEI, database of mobile operators. It acts as a central system for all network operators to share blacklisted mobile devices so that devices blacklisted in one network will not work on other networks even if the subscriber identity module SIM card in the device is changed. With the extension of the project to six northeast states of Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura, mobile consumers of these states can now file mobile theft information online on www.ceir.gov.in by uploading police station complaint of the lost mobile and ID prompts to block their mobile handset used in all Indian mobile network across the country. CEIR facilities already available in Maharashtra, Goa, Delhi and Karnataka. Kaibi Kumuda Village Development Committee urged paddy field owners and farmers of Kaibu Kumuda Laukon Infal East to hold talks on payment of rent for paddy lands by farmers before October 20. The committee expressed concerns that more than 70% of Kaibu Kamuda paddy lands are not in a condition to harvest this year owing to scanty rainfall. Speaking to media, Village Development Committee Secretary W. Genta said paddy fields at Kaibu Lokon will yield crop lesser than 50%, hence, farmers might not be in a state to pay off their rents to paddy land owners. <laughs> All Manipur PHAD workers and employees association demands Manipur government and governor to fulfill their 20 points charge of demands. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Association President Sapam Samungo said that fulfillment of their demands will facilitate efficient running of the department, which is a crucial one. Their demands include a service protection of 479 employees who were regularized from work charge in 1919, I beg your pardon, 1999, and to release the pending salaries of casual employees to frame a proper promotion rules and grade post etc abdar ka le ga na law ro di regular da adu ga kejuen masrol contractual ka na tawra ga bonded labor gi type ta manipur gi thabak phangdab gi semesa si re khalo bu tawra de na taan de lising manga pi ba tare pi ba nipan pi ga mi season ne hai ta ga di madhu sarkar ge sumba policy na te adu ne koi gi satro demand se his uh, Excellency Governor of Manipur, Honorable Chief Minister, Honorable Minister PICD, Chief Secretary, uh, Commissioner Secretary PICD, Chief Engineer, all the executive engineers, Kopi Piraga, Koyi Department, say, Hey, no, Panabagi Damagda, Sangai Makhazani, Koyi Satro Dimu. 
Convener of Coordinating Body, Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee, Convener L. Ramesh slammed Manipur government for not sending the necessary recommendation to the Centre for enlisting Maite Mite community in a scheduled tribe list of the Indian constitution. He alleged the government of showing double standard attitude towards their demand. Ramesh warned that the committee is all set to intensify their agitation if government fails to hit their demand at the earliest. सरकार की माइक कही देगी हाय सरकार की माइक कही देगी हाय कमन कंसेस समा है नसीबो की मनुंग द कमन कंसेस You legalize of music, Kanakanagi common consensus. I had a low given it. Manipurta, Gizibika, Gamena, Anisuba, let the government same give us absolute majority at the Humpuda Humpuna support of the same given. Indian Constitution 1950, the Sanagiba, passed of Gibsu, Indiagi, people Kutimagna, Yaragato Gibro. Majority people to the Yarakanda, Langak Sengibani, majority people to the Yarakanda, Maduki constitution, and given it. Adu Vetaragadi, Sedun tribe demand committee maintain the Talis issue, majority people and support of Nina, Masisu Langan Atumatam, the recommendation say Tabun Tui. As a part of the ongoing agitation by coalition against drugs and alcohol, CADA against government's decision to legalize liquor in the state, members of CADA, Amkil and Tankam Awanglekai, Apunba, Maira, Pai Bilub stage protest meet at Ima Kalika Sanglet at Tankam Awanglekai in Imphal East District today. Protesters condemned the decision by chanting various slogans during the sit in. Members of CADA, all Manipur, Tami Chingmi Apunba Nupi Loop, Tami Chingmi Lamsang Mara Pai B Loop 18, and Progressive Youth Association YP Lamsang also staged protest meet against legalization of liquor at Lamsang Market in Imphal West District. Maitram Makha Lekai Chaukat Thaurang Nupi Loop and Kada Imphal West District Committee also held protest meet at Maitram Makha Lekai. Nongpok Lengak Apunba Nupi Loop also staged protest meet at Kurai Kongpal Lai Hidden in Imphal East District. The Thaubal District United Women's Development Organization, Thaubal Ima, Wangjing Kaitil Fambi Ima Singh, and Kada also staged protest meet at Wangjing Kaitil in Thaubal District against legalization of liquor in Manipur today. Locals of KR Lane staged protest demonstration over the suspicious death of one MD Firoz Khan from Kaibung Sanabi Lairag, Thawbal District, who was found dead at the war cemetery in Hatta, Ifal East, and last morning. According to one of the protesters, MD Firoz Khan used to stay at New Lambu Lane and he sold fish at Palace Compound. The protester claimed that MD Firoz Khan's death was a pre planned murder committed by some people since injury marks were visible on his body. They also demanded the Home Department to shed light into the suspicious death and book all the perpetrators involved. <laughs> Health Minister Dr. Sapam Ranjan stresses on the positive changes in the healthcare system and facilities in Manipur over the years. Speaking at the Silver Jubilee Conference of Association of Surgeons of India, Manipur Chapter, Asim Manikon 2022 at Dreams Jubilee Hall today, the minister assured that the ruling government is taking necessary measures to provide enhanced healthcare facilities. He opined that coronavirus pandemic has made people more health conscious. Highlighting on the contributions of RIMS Hospital in the health sector of the state, he expressed confidence that the hospital will continue to serve the people in the future. I think it's one of the very, very good things that RIMS have done. And the, I see a lot of change in the way the staff, the grade 4 staff, 
the you know how they deal with the patients because I have gone there incognito without just two of us just like that in a very casual dress where they didn't recognize me but they did speak to me in a very very to say wonderful and in a very uh, cordial way I think this is how hospitality should be and again I would also like to congratulate so it's it's what has been inculcated into the minds of the staff that patients and the patient's relatives or anyone who comes to them should be treated in a cordial manner. I think it's one of the better things. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates on coronavirus cases in Manipur, India and the world. Keep watching Impact News. Ningo Chakao ba musung diwali na lakpag iroy na na miyam gyoi ba tongan ba sentoglam biya mapibang am na bagi pandam da akha na ba kudong java pijari. Green Can Industries tagi akha na ba potlam lebi ba matam da Green Can Institute of Bakery and Culinary Arts ta lem na bakery course tam na bagi kudong java pijari. Loi na na restaurant ki kitchen setup amadi bakery setup tau ba da changa da ba potlam kuding maksu makhal kaya ge diskaun pijari. Akak naba matam khakta mak pizza ba kudong java ni ngasi mag lengsin biya u Green Can Industries. Press to personalize wonders. Impal the nauna hangdok cherry. Hide basida. Personalized gifts, corporate gifts, awards and mementos, home decor, office rubber stamp na chingba po lam sing. Mapamasi da pangbigani. Nasi maglang sing bira u. Tila grass enterprises. Press to Tangal Bazaar near Gasturi Tong Impal. Contact number 0385-244-9025 Natraga 9862100456. You're watching Primetime English Bulletin. India added 2,797 new COVID-19 cases, 3,884 recoveries and 24 deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active caseload stands at 29,251. Total recoveries are 4 crore 40,51,228. Recovery rate stands at 98.75%. That's toll reaches 5,28,778. Over 218 crore 93 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine have been administered in India so far. Manipur did not report any new COVID-19 cases, nor recovery, nor deaths in the last 24 hours. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room, coronavirus has affected 1,39,825 people. That toll remains at 2,149. Recovered cases have reached 1,37,661 and active cases are 15. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 62 crore, 62 lakh, 13,000 people. It has claimed above 65 lakh, 59,000 people and recoveries are above 60 crore, 57 lakh, 19,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 18 lakh, 41,000 in the world. League of Indigenous People LIP organized one day conference on the role and responsibility of civil societies in conflict situation of Manipur at the Hall of Manipur Dramatic Union in Yai School Police Lane today. Addressing the occasion, LIP convener Rakesh Marang Timsat and civil society organizations in the state have been standing at the forefront for bringing solutions to various issues facing the state. However, none of the issues have been resolved completely. He urged all the CSOs in Manipur to strive for bringing an amicable solution to all these issues. Indian Red Cross Society Manipur branch chairman Dr. Younglim Mohan, Manipur State Food Commission Acting President Tokchom Simon, Pres Professor of the Economics Department Manipur University C.H. Priyo Ranjan, Retired Associate Professor Dr. Haubam Indra Kumar, Indigenous Minority Organization Manipur President Ringen San Thanga, Kabui Union Manipur President Dr. Kamehira Kabui, Human Rights Activist Wahengbam Joy Kumar and representatives of various CSOs attended the event. I am a civil society Manipur, the lady of Singh Sadhu, I am a civil society Manipur, the lady of Singh Sadhu, 
independent or ba the mang thara ga leba ki isu thoi ba sei na ba lei rib sing she sidai the solution purak na ba asum ba khong dang lau bra ga society si apoba society ama o hena ba ba se adu ki matip no mu gi no mu gi isu si amal wedi ni da amu mu lak pa amal wedi ni da amu mu lak na ai koi da si ri pe so ngi ba ai koi da so awa mu ko shal pa legal in this people gi pam sa budi tangdu le ta tra lamdam sida lai da bunina sumba awa ba kaya ma ti dum thengna ga dum laki ni dum chakki gani la ka do liba mathangi thabak thorom sing da ekhoi na solution sing si karam haina lotion ga de ge haina sai ge ekhoi ge akhang ai sing oza guru sing ta na da na question minan na bigi apa ma do league of indians people ki mai ki di pamje Cultural Forum Manipur held a study circle on language policy and might learn today at the Museum Archive Hall of Manipur Legislative Assembly Old Assembly Road in Fal. The program was held in connection with the 64th Foundation Day of Cultural Forum Manipur. A book named Aina Shakhidraba Ishe written by Sahitya Academy awardee late Raghu Lashangtem and the annual publication of Cultural Forum Manipur titled Ritu were also released at the event. Retired Lieutenant General Dr. Konzam Himale, Cultural Forum Manipur Vice President Professor Hidang Mayum Akendra Sharma, Associate Professor of Manipuri Department of Manipur University Dr. Koyjam Shantibala and Assistant Professor of Manipuri Department YK College Wangjing Dr. Longjam Anand attended the event among others. Asipongjeriba asi pesam kuntrani thoi panba aduk maritu amani aduk mathangi se phongdi ekoi janu mari tang amada koi damdam sigi saknai ribi ai bi lai kidravi komari thoi bi debi gi magi ma pok komon numita koi phong anaba pandam thamjari asumai taudana the culture and forum mani purasi 1959 digi ting khalakpa adung onaisan amani saita preset ki parisat ki hematang de leiba khwa digi liraba ad ani suba onaisan amani asina aiko gi mani pri lon mani puri culture ni pri na cha khona na bo na bata masi phawasi tongan tongan de hiramda aso ba thaudang loudan luxury State level seminar on geo heritage conservation in Loktak Lake as a part of the first International Geodiversity Day observation was held today. Federation of Government Student Teachers Association Manipur organized the program at NG College, Lamphal Park. Dean of School of Human and Environmental Sciences, Manipur University, Professor Swaibam Sanatombi, NG College Principal Ashok R.C., Thambal Mari College, Oinam Principal Professor K.H. Mohan, and Fegok Sita, Vice President K. Sanaton Sharma attended the event. Yangtang area along the Maya Lambi is found littered after thousands of devotees from ver various parts of Manipur thronged the Yangtang Larembi Shrine for Boar Festival on October 3rd. And though the festival is over five days ago, the authority concerned or the public is least bothered to clean up the area. Impact News reporters uh, upon inspecting the site came to learn that the roadside as well as the Nambul River Bank are filled with plastic bottles, plastic wrappers, bits of clothes and other items. Waste have been found dumped in places where stalls were put up on Boar Festival as a result of negligence of the stall owners. Impact News also came to know that the situation is giving a headache to commuters along the Mayai Lambi in Hidang, Hyangtang area. It may be mentioned that uh, Manipur Chief Minister MLAs along with several high-profile personalities attended the Boar Festival. Earlier days ahead of the event, locals of Yangtang area along with local clubs held a cleanliness drive along the roadside using, using JCB and other hev heavy machineries. <laughs> Mia 
Kuih lambi dah sari bermiam dah kuih tuan tuan makan kuih kudung sah dah bukian ama mayang ni bah si kohon dah bukian makta umba tabuk sing lokhat bukian tengai pada belai di maru ina hai bah si maru mula kan dah mampu masih kuih kuih betul si tuan tuan makan kuih polusan kuih ama thok di bani maru masih nama ni polusan kontrol bot nasu Hai, bahiram masih dah akan memihak masa yang begitu membawa tangai pada malay ini. Impact news kita memang memang dapat dalam jari bayi saya dalam musuh yang tak. JD Memorial Foundation observed its 10th Foundation Day at the Palace Compound today. JD Memorial Foundation Chief Patron Rani Shidir, Thangwe Ben Rani, Dr. Sarjandra Lonjamba of Dhana Manjuri University, Saite Academy Awardee Dr. S. Lanchenba, Seva Manipur CEO Dr. K. H. Chinglin, Kanglai Park Calendar Board President, Abhijit Sairom, Quad Writers Morang President, Salam Tomba were among those present on the occasion. A book titled Yaya Lawi Chuk Lukki, written by R. K. Nayansana and 2023 calendar of JD Memorial Foundation were released on the occasion. Proscribed the People's Revolutionary Party of Kangli Park Pripak sends greetings to people of Manipur and the Oasia region on the occasion of the outfits for the 5th Foundation Day. Press note signed by Pripak Interim Council Chairman Ahiba Angom says, though branded as merger, Manipur was forcefully annexed, hence it has not lost its sovereignty yet as per the international laws. Chief Minister Nongthuma Birain extends warm greetings to the people of Manipur on the joyous occasion of Mera Hau Chongba, which falls on October 9, that is tomorrow. In his message, the Chief Minister says Mera Hau Chongba is a unique festival of Manipur celebrated on a full moon day of the month of Mera in Manipuri lunar calendar since time immemorial. He added that the festival is jointly celebrated by different communities living in the state to promote brotherhood, peace, unity and integrity, symbolizing our belief in the principle of pluralism and coexistence. Enbirin calls for unity and harmony among communities to take the state to new heights of development. On the occasion of Mera Hau Chongba Festival or Mera Wayungba tomorrow, Mahut Minister Yunam Kemchan urges people from all walks of life in Manipur, irrespective of caste and creed, to inculcate fraternal bonding for a peaceful coexistence. Minister Nemcha Kipgen also sends greetings on the occasion of the auspicious Mera Hau Chongba 2022. In her greetings, the minister said Mera Hau Chongba is a festival which exemplifies the inextricable and strong bond, oneness and brotherhood among people of different ethnic communities of Manipur. Private Schools Development Council PSDC Taubal District observed the 13th Foundation Day at Paradise English School Complex in Taubal Okram today. PSDC Taubal Chief Advisor come EGF School Head Master Dr. O. Ibo Pishak, PSDC President come Paradise Higher Secondary School Principal Dr. N. Ranjit, PSDC former President and KM Blooming Higher Secondary School Chairman KH Menjor Mangang graced the event. Teachers and students of 34 schools under PSDC in Thaubal attended the event. They showcased various items. PSDC presented Best Teacher and Best Student Awards for these schools on the occasion. A book titled Paukum Pankhi Draba Wahang, adapted from the popular radio play under the same name, written by Mani Tayanjam, was released at Manipur Press Club in Imphal today. Patriotic Writers Forum organized a book release function, which was attended by Social Welfare Director Ngangom Utam and Forum President Nauroibam Kamba. The Indian Air Force IAF today marked 90 years of excellence. Indian Air Force was raised on October 8, 1932. 
Speaking on the occasion, Chief of Indian Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Vivek Ram Chaudhary said 3,000 Agnivir Vayu will be inducted in December for initial training. This year's Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to human rights advocate Alice Balyevsky from Belarus in Russian, the Russian Human Rights Organization Memorial and the Ukrainian Human Rights Organization Center for Civil Liberties. Chairperson of the Norwegian Nobel Committee in Oslo, Berit Rees Anderson, announced the name of the winners. A profile of Alice Balyevsky, born on September 25, 1962 in Vyalsilia, Russia's Karelia. Bialetsky was a resident of Belarus at the time of the award. He was one of the initiators of the democratic movement that emerged in Belarus in the mid 1980s. He has devoted his life to promoting democracy and peaceful development in his home country. He founded the organization Vyasna Spring in 1996. Vyasna evolved into a broad-based human rights organization that documented and protested against the authorities' use of torture against political prisoners. Government authorities have repeatedly sought to silence Alice. Since 2020, he is still detained without trial. Despite tremendous personal hardship, be Belarusky has not yielded an inch in his fight for human rights and democracy in Belarus. Now the sports news. So Manipur backed a gold medal in the 85-kilometer road race cycling event of the ongoing 36 National Games Gujarat 2022 today. Cyclist Tongbra Manorama backed the gold medal. Manipur Judo team also backed two bronze medals today. L. Nungshitoy Chanu backed one bronze medal in the 52 kg category and L. Bem Bem also backed another bronze in 57 kg category. Gold medalist of rowing event in the Gujarat National Games, Thangjan Priya from Moirang Nganka Lawai complained that boats which were used during the 1999 National Games hosted by Manipur are being used while practicing for rowing in the state. She added that using old boats for practice is giving inconvenience to the state rowers. Priya said this on the sidelines of a reception function held for her by clubs in Ngangkalawai area at the local Bamon Mandop. Speaking to media, Priya added that the boats which are being used for practice at Takmu Water Sports Complex were used in the fifth national games and the condition of these boats are not favorable for practicing. Priya said she aims to win a gold medal in the upcoming Asian Games. <laughs> WFA Kakching and YWC Tambalkong have beat their opponents in today's matches of Kelo India State League for under 17 girls football tournament being held under the aegis of All India Football Federation, AMFA. In today's second league match played at Artificial Turf Ground, Lamlong Tongkong, WFA Kakching defeated ICSA Iringbam 1-0. The lone winning goal was scored by Malim B. Naurem at the 45th minute of the match. While in the third league match, YWC Tambalkong dropped FC Imphal 10-0. For the winners, Mangpin Neng Kongsai scored three goals at 12, 31st and 59th minute. And Lamganbi netted two goals at the 6th and 37th minute. K. Anju also netted two goals at the 9th and 28th minute. 
and Arena also scored two goals at 38 and 42nd minute and D.H. Reshma scored one goal at 17th minute. Ten girls football teams from very pa various parts of Manipur are competing in the football league. Amma Andro will meet Kripsa Narimtong in the fourth league match and Isu Palace Compound will face YWC Langthabal in the fifth league match tomorrow. Eight players from Manipur have been selected for the Indian team participating in the sixth Senior Asian Pancake Slit Championship 2022. Indian Pancake Slit Federation will organize a championship under the aegis of Asian Pancake Slit Federation at Srinagar's Sher Kashmir Indoor Sports Complex from October 11 till 17. Selected players are Samdachambam Bidya Lakshmi Chanu in the 45 kg category, Thaunaudam Rita in 50 kg category, Yaikom Anjali in 60 kg category, Ahong Shangbam Sarju Bala and Huidrom Bishan Mite in 65 kg category, Naurem Boynao in solo creative and Sinam Chinkhai along with Sinam Jivan for the Granda for the Ganda event. Selected players are currently undergoing intense training at the Indian camp being held at Srinagar. Pancake Slate Association of Manipur Secretary Lystrom Ranjit expressed firm belief that the Manipur players will bring laurels for the state. Jaipur will host the T20 said Mustaq Ali Cricket Trophy under the aegis of the BCCI from October 11. Manipur senior men's team participating in the tournament left Imphal for Jaipur today. Manipur team consists of 15 players including team captain M. Lamnon Ngamba and vice captain Bisorjit Kontaujam. P. Bikramjit Bose is team manager, Rakesh Sharma is head coach and Robin is assistant coach, T. H. Kamlesh is the team physiotherapist and Raju Bhatkai is the team trainer. Delhi, Goa, Hyderabad, Manipur, Pondicherry, Punjab, Tripura and Uttar Pradesh are competing in league round matches of the tournament. Manipur's first match is against Delhi at Swai Mansing Cricket Stadium on October 11 morning. Now, before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Manipur Police Department, in virtual presence of Union Home Minister Amit Shah and Chief Minister Nongtong Bambirin, incinerates 1,729 kg 662 grams of seized narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances at Lamding. Manipur observes Loktak Day. Forest and Environment Climate Change Minister Tongam Biswajit says saving the Loktak Lake is BJP government's top priority. Locals and Hospital Management Committee demand state government to send required nurses of Wangu Community Health Centre within seven days. Central Equipment Identity Registry Project of Department of Telecommunications India extended to six northeast states including Manipur. Mobile consumers can now directly report lost mobile handset blocking online. And Tongbra Manorama backs gold medal in cycling event of ongoing 36th National Games Gujarat 2022. That's all we have in this bulletin. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri Bulletin. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Have a great evening and stay safe.